There are three stages of catabolism. Stage one, which occurs primarily in the intestinal lumen, involves the digestion of dietary components, polysaccharides, proteins, and triacylglycerols into their building block components, uh, glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, and monoacylglycerol, respectively. Glucose and amino acids are picked up by the enterocytes and eventually released into the bloodstream, whereas uh, digested lipids, fatty acids, and monoacylglycerols are reassembled into a chylomicron triacylglycerol rich molecule and then released into the bloodstream. After their pickup from circulation, glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids are catabolized inside the cell, either in the cytoplasm or the mitochondria to produce high energy molecules. Of the four major catabolic pathways, only glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, whereas pyruvate dehydrogenase, the TCA cycle, and fatty acid beta oxidation occur inside the mitochondria. The NADH and FADH2 produced by the three uh, mitochondrial catabolic pathways will be present in the mitochondrial matrix and will be directly accessible for the third stage of catabolism uh, uh, which occurs inside the inner mitochondrial membrane. The purpose of the third stage of catabolism is to convert the high energy molecules NADH and FADH2 into a usable form of energy that can be readily used by the cell, namely ATP. This occurs through the coupled process of electron transport and oxidative phosphorylation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.